Hey everybody, it's Drew here from Craft Show. Welcome to the first episode of Inside Craft Show where we talk about some technical stuff. I'm going really fast because this intro is really short. I'm looking at the town down. Jeff Worley! Hello! He has a beard. Okay, so jumping right into it, we got a new Phantom 4 Pro. We wanted to test it out. So we held the camera first and shot a color chip chart because that's what you should do anytime you get a new camera. Shoot a chip chart. See where it actually stands. See what settings work the best. That's what we did. Boom, there's our settings to start out with. We changed them. DE sending like F9, no ND, ISO 200, shutter 50, white balance, 5600. Very important, always set your white balance. Don't use auto, it's garbage. So here's our first pass. Again, same settings, DE sending like F9, no ND because Long story, ISO 200, shutter 50, white balance 56. And you can kind of see on the right side is the raw, on the left side is a little bit of a grade. We're using Lumetri Cine Light 25. Use it across all of these. So they're all the exact same preset. We then jumped ahead, did the exact same thing again. This time though, we opened up one stop to an F8. We're just kind of curious to see if the, the, the way the light would come in as far as like uh, the, the mid tones and such. Cause we are shooting on a slightly overcast day. Actually it's an epically overcast day but the wind wasn't super bad. So there's the, the image there for the Cine Like D. Now we're gonna jump into D-Log. I think it looks like smooshy poop. It looks like someone poured milk all over it. Actually, I think my monitor might be leaking. That's terrible. But there you go. You can see it's kind of mushy. I'm gonna let Jeff handle the D-Log because that is for a colorist and I am certainly no colorist. I used a preset, kids. So there you have it. You can see it's hardly even noticeable. We jumped onto True Color. Again, same settings as everything else. I think True Color is really great on the right side of the frame where you can see the raw negative. I think it looks fantastic. When you get to the left side, some of the blacks look a little bit crushed and a little too saturated, but again, just using Cine Like 25 from Lumetri, just a preset. We skipped A and B because we hated them so much. We jumped straight in to film C because we wanted to see uh, what it would look like. C. I don't know why I said C so much, but I did. There you can go. I feel like it's a little skip bleach-ish looking. Not as much here in Film H. We skipped all the other letters. We hated them. Film H is way skip bleach, really crushed, kind of boring looking, but I had a perfect landing job. Pretty proud of that one. So there you have it. You can kind of see our coloration test. The one we like is Cine-like or D cine like uh, and shoot, obviously use ND when you do it. We just didn't have time to do it. I think I just had an eyelash in front of my eye. That's kind of weird, it kind of bothers me. Either way, thanks for joining Inside Craft Show, later.